this is our final activity. It is sentence time. We are going to say a sentence. I'll say it. We'll say it together and then we're going to count the number of words in each sentence. We've got this. It's our final activity. So I am going to say a question because questions can be sentences. You're going to say it with me and then we're going to see if we can identify the number of words. Our question word is why. Here we go. Why did you stop? Now let's say it together. Why did you stop? Now, let's do it together and count those words. Why did you stop? Four. Let's do another one together, and then I'm going to see if you can do it on your own. Why did you leave? Together. Why did you leave? Let's count. Why did you leave? Four words. Why did you leave? Excellent. Now on this next sentence, we'll do it. I'll do it. We'll do it together. And then I want to see if you can count and repeat the sentence at home. I'll be listening. Here we go. Why is it cold? Let's do it together. Oop, that's back to count. Why is it cold? Okay, you do it at home. See if you can count on your own, and then we'll do it together. Okay, did you get this many words? Why is it cold? Four, excellent. One more, and we'll call it a day. Why is it hot together? There I go, try to count. Why is it hot? Hot. I just get excited when I'm listening for words in a sentence. Now at home, you repeat, why is it hot and count? And then we'll check. Okay, let's do a sentence word counting check. Why is it hot? I know you got four words. Wonderful work on Wonderful Wednesday. Thanks for joining and thanks for continuing the learning, not leaving this session until we completed all seven activities. We are done with Wednesday. We are on to Thursday, or we would say Monday's day one, day two, day three. This would be day four. So whenever you can squeeze day four in, just remember to do all five days for practice making permanent. All right, I can't wait for us to work together. How should we do this fall alphabet tomorrow? Let me think on it. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hello, reading friends, and just like that, we've landed on Wednesday. We have been working this week five so wonderfully together and now we're in the middle of our five day session. We are working on identifying the sounds in spoken words. We're doing rhyming, we're doing whole sentences. We're really advancing and we know that reading is layered. You can't walk until you stand. You can't run until first you can walk. And that's how reading is. You build your skills, be patient, you'll get there. You just need to work on one skill at a time. These skills are really helping us advance to the next skill, which is printed words, where we're going to be seeing words and we're going to be thinking about beginning, middle, and ending sounds so that we can break up those sounds, put them back together, and read effectively. If you're a new learner and you're just learning the alphabet and letter sounds, 
this is the place for you. We're working together. But if you are a person, a kid, or even an older, like an adult who's struggling, when you look at a printed word and you're trying to figure it out, these are the lessons for you also because we're going to backtrack maybe a little bit and we're going to think about what we hear in a spoken word and then move forward to those printed words that can be applied to that. So let's get started. First activity, we have seven, like seven days in a week. There are seven activities. We can do them. They're quick, easy, and when we're working together, it's really fun. First activity is always, well, maybe not always as we move forward, but right now it's been rhyme time. Saying two words, you're repeating, and then we're identifying the rhyme, which is the middle and the end of a word. Or it's like a chunk, a sound that we're identifying that makes a rhyme. We'll see a lot of rhyming words in books that we're reading, so this is a great first step. All right, here we go. Got, dot, you repeat. And our rhyme in that was the part that sounds alike, ought, you're right. Mad, had, repeat it. The rhyme is, part that sounds the same, add, beginning doesn't, right? Keep going, jet, pet, you repeat, two words. And the rhyme, the part that sounds the same in those two words is at. Excellent. I like how you're saying it at home before we say it together. Hid, did. Repeat it. The part that sounds alike is id. You got it. Final pair. Run. Fun. Repeat. The part that rhymes or sounds the same. Un. Let's run to the fun. I love it. Okay. Activity two. See how fast these move? Activity two is where I'm going to say a word and then we're going to see if we can hear the very first sound. So words are made up of letters. Letters have sounds. We're listening for the very first sound in the word and we're going to identify it. So I'll say the whole word. I'll give you a moment to say the word and then at home, see if you can figure out the first sound. Not letter, the sound. Here we go. And remember, this week, all of the beginning sounds are different. Okay, challenging ourselves to something new. Here we go. Push, you repeat it. What's the beginning sound? Did you say p? Right. Here we go. Go, you repeat. See if you can identify the beginning sound at home. Did you say g? Right. Let's keep going. Camp. You repeat. Listen for the first sound. Say it at home. K. Two more. Hope. You said the word. What's the beginning sound? One more to go. You're doing excellent. White. Repeat the word. White. Beginning sound is. Say it at home. Ooh, good. White. You're spot on today, even though it's hump day. You're doing great. Okay. Smash burger's up next. Now, smash burger is where we're taking small word, small word, combining or putting those two together. I call it smash burger and getting a whole big word. Okay, so I'll say small word, small word, big word, and you're repeating. Here we go. Head, phones, headphones, your turn. Small word, small word, big word. So you've got your head, you've got your phones, 
You've got your headphones. Keep on going. Spot. Light. Spotlight. You do it. Small word. Small word. Put them together. Great. Next one. Wild cat. Wild cat. That used to be my school mascot, the wild cats. Two more to go. You're doing super. Tea. Pot. Teapot. A pot for tea. One more. My self. Myself. You do it. I can do it all by myself. All right. Activity four. We're just rolling right along very quickly because you're sharpening on the ball today. I love it. Ending sound. So our second activity was first sound. Fourth activity is we're thinking about the letters in a word and we're going to the very final sound that we hear. So I am going to be saying the sound and then a word that ends with that sound, you repeat. Here we go. Z, sneeze, ch, sound, and then the word. Right, the ending sound is z. Next sound, z, word, has. Repeat the sound. Good, I'm hearing z at the end. The last letter of the alphabet. Okay, next one. Z. Ties. You do it. Sound. Word. All right, our ending sound was z. Good. Let's move to another ending sound. Same activity. Mmm. Fine. You do it. Mmm. Down. You do it. One more. Mmm. Fin. Ending sound was mmm. Do it with me. Mmm. Super. Let's move on to our next activity. I've got to turn the page though. This is Smash Burger Undone. It's like, um, you know, just taking it apart. Ooh, I love when the whole burger is together and I'm taking a bite. This is where you're like taking off the top bun and the bottom bun. What's in the middle? All right, so we're going to be putting the burger together first and then taking off the top bun and taking off the bottom bun. Small word, small word. And we know this helps us when we see very large words in print. We can look at those and see if we can find small word, small word. And that way we can chunk out that word and read it more efficiently. Okay, here we go. Whole word is goldfish. Pull it apart. Gold and fish. You do it. Whole word. Pull apart. Pull apart. Good job. Here we go. Birthday. Birthday. You do it. Spot on. Here we go. Third word. Wheelchair. Pull it apart. Wheel. Chair. You got it. You do it. Getting ahead of myself. Not even giving you your turn. Okay, here we go. Next one. Classroom. Class room. I'm going to give you your turn this time. Whole word. Pull it apart. Pull it apart. All right, one more. Playground. Play ground. You do it. Whole word. Pull it apart. Pull it apart. Excellent work on deconstructing, pulling apart a whole word. Smash burger undone. 
I told you I was going to have a different alphabet. I'm feeling a uh, fallish since we've just officially hit the season of fall. So I put some pumpkins and pumpkin seeds. So we've got the capital letters, uppercase letters, and then their little lowercase match. And I thought it would be fun if we sang Spookylicious like this. Baby, Let's be a little spooky. Oh, come on. You can do it with me. All right. Let me guess. I need to get a creepy finger for this activity. Yeah, that would be fun. I might go look in the Halloween aisle for that. Here we go. Spooky alphabet. A, B, C, D, U, E, L, U, G, U, Spooky, spooky, very spooky. H, I, J, K, L, B, U, M N O P Q R O S T U U V W X Y Z now we've spooked our ABCs. I like doing it differently. Awesome. That was fun. You know, when you change things up just a little bit, it makes the learning. Mm -hmm.